Welcome back everybody, glad to see you here again. Today what we're gonna do is we're going to break down the teaser trailer for Star Wars Episode Nine that debuted uh, last week. Chewie and I watched it the first time um, last week and we had no idea what to expect. And uh, we just, it was the first time we had seen it and just things were just flying at us fast and furious. So we're gonna take our time and kind of break down the teaser uh, trailer right now. Now if you didn't see our reaction video to that, I've got the link down below. You can go watch it uh, from the link and then come back here. We're going to dig into it a little bit more. And FYI, we're probably going to get into some spoilers. So if you want to stay spoiler free, might want to go do something else until after December comes and you can come back and we can talk about all this again. All right, let's dig in. All right, so the teaser opens up with Ray on a desert planet. Now, it's unclear whether this is Jakku or Tatooine or some other desert planet. Opens up, she's breathing. I don't know if she's training, if this is a vision or whether she's really uh, in the desert somewhere. But all of a sudden, she's drawing out the lightsaber. Uh, this is Luke's lightsaber that was damaged, if you remember, from The Last Jedi. Uh, she and Kylo were force fighting over the saber and it exploded. Well, apparently it has been fixed. We don't know by whom exactly, but Ray has it, and you can even see a little black band around the middle of it where it was broke into two in the last movie. So she's got a functional lightsaber, and she pulls it out and ignites it, and there's a ship flying towards her. Now, when we first saw this trailer, uh, Chewie and I both thought that it was Kylo Ren's ship, but when you slow the footage down, you can see that the TIE fighter that's listed here is different than the fighter that Kylo flew in The Last Jedi. So it's unclear who exactly was piloting the, piloting the ship. Uh, it may have been Kylo, maybe somebody else, but it looked cool, I can tell you that. So she's running and all of a sudden the TIE fighter comes into view and then she does this incredible Jedi backflip maneuver, acrobatically flying up over the top of the TIE fighter as it's flying underneath her. And at the time, I was completely overwhelmed by, uh, by this maneuver and mistakenly said that it was a, uh, a jujitsu MMA move. <laughs> I was corrected on several occasions by some people who saw that and reminded me that jiu-jitsu is really a ground game. Um, it's not an acrobatic, high-flying, jump-over TIE fighter game. So I apologize to all of you MMA enthusiasts out there. Totally got that wrong in the heat of the moment. Um, but one of the things I'm wondering is like, why did Ray jump over it? I mean, if we're really talking about a ground game, shouldn't she have just like slid under it, you know? like? There was lots of room underneath the TIE Fighter and maybe just stuck the lightsaber up and could have slit open the, the bottom of the TIE Fighter. I don't know, if it were me, that's what I would have done. All right, then after that, we get some cool shots of flying into a new planet where it looks like there's a cityscape, this kind of on different plateaus on the side of a mountain. It looks really cool. And then we got some really cool shots of Kylo Ren running around on a planet that's all uh, red, reddish and killing somebody with his lightsaber and uh, killing him with like the vent portion of the saber down by the hilt. Uh, it looks pretty, pretty awesome. <laughs> and of course, then here we get a shot of someone fixing Kylo Ren's mask, which of course he smashed in The, the Last Jedi. Uh, it is not Kylo's hands uh, because they're all hairy, kind of like a chimpanzee or something. Maybe it's uh, Chewbacca's kid. Was your kid, did your kid working for the First Order? Maybe. Okay, and then we've got Poe and Finn back together, looking like they're going on adventures. That's awesome. And of course, who doesn't love BB-8. BB-8's awesome. Love BB-8. And apparently BB-8 has a new friend called Dio. So Dio and BB-8 look like they're besties. And then we get into one of the big moments of the trailer. We see the Millennium Falcon flying through hyperspace. Uh, Chewbacca is in the co-pilot seat and Lando Calrissian, that's right, <laughs> is in the pilot seat. 
So uh, it's good to see uh, Billy D coming back, uh, reprising his role. Just wonderful to see him. Looks like he's having a lot of fun. He looked like he was having a lot of fun on the uh, at the celebration panel where the episode nine folks got out there. Uh, it really cracked me up. The one comment where. Uh, they were speculating whether the other actress, the new actress in the movie, was actually Billy Dee's uh, child. And she said this. Is your father on this stage? <laughs> Listen. <laughs> Lando is a very charming man. So he could have children all over the universe. That's all I'm saying. And then we get what looks like an exciting chase scene on like a skiff, a sand skiff or something like that. And they're being chased. This looks like Poe and uh, Finn and C-3PO are on a skiff being chased by stormtroopers on uh, speeder bikes and also jetpacks, which I know have been in some of the Star Wars related games, but this is the first time that they've actually been uh, in one of the movies. So that's kind of cool. Then we get a really cool shot of an A-wing. Looks like it's going down. It's got damage of some type, but A-wings are really cool ships. Um, I think my favorite, besides the Falcon, of course, is the uh, B-wing fighters. Really liked the, the how the cockpits were kind of gyroscoped and the wings would kind of fold out into the cross formation. It was those were cool ships. And then we start to see some shots that are really cool. Kind of reminds you of the original trilogy. Of course, we have this metal here um, it's unclear it looks like it's maybe Leia's hands holding the metal but this is one of the medals it appears to be that were given out to Han and Luke at the end of A New Hope surprisingly someone didn't get a medal in that ceremony and uh, we think maybe that's the medal that this guy was owed next up we get some really good shots of uh, Leia giving Ray a hug. It's a very emotional scene, it looks like. They had shot enough footage on the previous movie that they didn't have to digitize uh, Carrie Fisher's performance. So this is all uh, her performance from the last film that they worked on, and they were able to incorporate all of that into uh, this movie uh, that's coming out in December. So that's really good. So it's sad seeing Carrie one last time in the film, but you know, such a great way uh, for, for us to remember her in this last movie to kind of wrap up the whole S Skywalker saga. So it looks, looks really good. Looking forward to that. So one of the last scenes that we get to is we see the whole crew. We got Chewbacca, C-3PO, BB-8, Dio, Poe, Finn, and Rey. They're all on an adventure together. And they come over this ridge and look out over this body of water. And what do they see out in the water? but a giant chunk of a Death Star. It's obviously one of the focusing dishes that was part of one of the Death Stars. Now it's unclear whether this is from the first Death Star that was destroyed by Yavin or whether it was the one destroyed at Endor. Uh, one of the things that is interesting is it was pointed out by some other folks that the artwork for The Force Awakens actually had Rey scuba diving down into a crashed Death Star and swimming around in the water and looking for things. So they changed that in The Force Awakens so that she actually was kind of tooling around a crashed Star Destroyer. But it's interesting that, I'm wondering if we're going to see them get into the water and then go down into the Death Star. Now the question is, is what are they looking for? Who knows? But I can't wait to find out. Of course, the biggest surprise comes at the very end of the teaser, when we start hearing the maniacal laughter of Palpatine. <laughs> and it's the Emperor, and it's no mistaking that laugh. And sure enough, when they showed the teaser at the celebration, who else arrived onto the set but Ian McDermott? And he stood on the stage, and then he said, Roll it again. That was classic. And then they watched the trailer again. So really excited to see how they integrate him back into this final chapter. I don't know if he's been revived somehow or if he's been in some kind of stasis 
in this Death Star. Maybe that's who they're going to go find in the Death Star wreckage that's uh, on that planet. But at any rate, it was really exciting to hear the laughter. And then also when Ian McDermott came out on the stage and uh, just to announce that, hey, he's back. I mean, that was a really cool moment. And then the last thing that we see in the teaser trailer is the title. And it's called The Rise of Skywalker. Now, what Skywalker are we talking about? Are we, are we talking about actually Luke Skywalker? Uh, wouldn't be Anakin. Rey. Is Rey a Skywalker? So it's unclear exactly who this Skywalker is. Personally, I really hope it's about Luke. I really hope that something happens to where we just get a nice closure to the story of Luke Skywalker. Um, just would really love to see his character done right. Uh, something that all the Star Wars fans can be proud of. Satisfying ending. But we're psyched. Can't wait for more information to come out. Can't wait for the full trailer to come out. We will, of course, react to that. We'll break that down as well. Uh, but this was a really good taste of what's to come. And it just looks exciting. Uh, there's still so many questions to be answered and I'm really just looking forward to how they're going to try to wrap all of this up. So I trust JJ as a director, really looking forward to see how he's going to wrap all of this up and just I think it's going to be a satisfying ending for everybody. So on behalf of Chewie and myself, Scruffy, thanks for joining in and we will hit you guys up next week with another in-depth analysis, this time of The Mandalorian.